Hello, I'm Kathy Driscoll with the Nature Foundation at Wintergreen. And I am here to share with you a brief synopsis of a partnership between the Nature Foundation at Wintergreen and the Nelson County Schools. We had created a science-based STEM project with researchers and teachers bringing science together. And with this project, we've been working this year during the COVID pandemic, mostly virtually, but having the kids do some hands-on science, history, and English-based activities. Um, this was a research that was funded for several grades. And originally we had planned to have uh, multitudes of projects, but we decided since we had a hybrid school year that we would do one project and one project well. So while students and teachers couldn't necessarily work together in a classroom or in the field, um, we chose to give them a project that's something that they could relate to. And that would be water. So while many middle and high school students had rain gauges and used those rain gauges to measure the amounts of rain and then collected data. We did have a few of our elementary students do something different. I am here today with a wonderful teacher from Nelson County Schools. This is Vicki Mays, who was working with another teacher, Morgan Robertson, together collaboratively. Um, with second and third grade students in creating what is they call the weather box. I believe that, Vicki, you said that you thought the weather was something that the students could relate to no matter how diverse the student body was. Would you like to elaborate on that? Yes, teaching this uh, unit was a unit that we felt like all children could relate to and it affects them all. So we felt like um, it was something they could connect to the real real world and measure, use scientific uh, uh, instruments, uh, go out and actually do the measuring of the rainfall or uh, the traces of rain. Uh, we thought that that was actually something that they could talk about with their families and they could work as a group with their family. Well, and so did you feel like it was pretty successful? Did you, were you able to communicate with the students? Yes, we met each week and the children would report of what they found each week and their uh, observation with their measuring. And most of the students really enjoyed uh, the weather. A lot of them would say they couldn't wait to get home or get outside because we asked them to do it at four o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, and so they were always excited to be able to share what they had learned the week that we met. Uh, it was something that the children, they were always curious about how much rain they were going to have each day or if they would have rain. And also they were curious on to see if they lived in a different area in the county if they would get more rainfall than if, if they lived in, you know, if they lived over the mountain, if they lived in the valley, uh, if they lived in the town. And we're actually looking at that data uh, now to see if we can determine where the most rainfall fell. Well, that sounds like a real eye-opener eye for the kids to figure out if it's raining on one side on the mountain and not the other side of the mountain. Do they have a chance to do any um, literature uh, yes, we did the book, I Survived uh, Hurricane Katrina, and actually one of my students has a mother that actually lived through Hurricane Katrina, and she's actually going to be giving us, uh, going to be talking to us about that, and we've talked about how Hurricane Katrina compared to Hurricane Camille in our county, which we realized that Katrina covered four states where Camille only did our area, but, uh, you know, both of them were similar uh, in, you know, in the uh, effects that it had on the people in those, in those places. Equally, equally devastating, 
Yeah. Excellent. And I can imagine the kids are had to um, kind of conceptualize all of that. Well, I know that we have a couple of videos to share of the, the children with their weather boxes. And I actually have the lesson plan here from Morgan. So this is the lesson plan that they went through. And this is pretty thick. So they had some uh, a lot of activities they had to, to fulfill. So I'm gonna share those videos with you. And then um, Vicki, I look forward to seeing what's gonna happen in the springtime. This is actually a project that started in September of 2020, and yes. then going into the spring of 2021, right? That's correct. Oh, thanks, Vicki, for letting me interview you and allowing um, our viewers to know what the project's all about. And um, hopefully we'll have some more footage on others' classrooms as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Stella Ward, and this is my weather box full of weather tools. My thermometer is made to measure the air temperature. My rain gauge is used to measure my precipitation. The hydrometer is used to measure water vapor and humidity. The wind vane is used to share the direction of the wind. So how this works is it's the arrow shows which direction the wind is going. The anemometer is this one. It's used to measure the speed. So how this one works is so this red line, this red, um, the red one, Every time it goes around, it counts as one. And these are all the tools that are in my weather box. Hi, this is Jacob. Today we're going to talk about our weather instruments. First, we're going to talk about our wind vane. So right now, the wind vane is, is pointing southwest. Now it is pointing southeast. Now it is pointing northwest. Now it's pointing northeast. Now we're going to move on into our anemometer. It measures the wind speed. That's how fast I'm blowing. Now we're going to talk about our thermometer right now right now it's on it's between the 60 and 10 now we're gonna talk about well now we're gonna talk about our barometer it, me it measures the air pressure in the atmosphere now we're going to move on to our city. So you can see that it's snowing. It's right now 32 degrees. And the, and the air pressure in the atmosphere is low air pressure. Thanks for watching. It's now my lunch break.